While Canada is a multicultural country, diversity and representation can be hard to find when it comes to municipal politics. Take, for example, Hamilton, Ontario. In the latest census numbers, about one in five people in the city identifies as a visible minority. But there's only one person of color serving on city council in Halifax. Uh, on, on city council. In Halifax, Lindell Smith was elected to city council in 2016. He was the first black city councillor in nearly 20 years. Lindell Smith joins me from Halifax and from Hamilton. The city councillor, Matthew Green, joins me in studio. Thank you both for being here today. Thank you for having us on the show. Uh, Matthew, I'd like to Good start with morning. you. What issues uh, do you think arise when there is a lack of diversity on a city council? Well, lacking diversity means lacking lived experiences, lacking a diversity of ideas and perspectives. It certainly goes beyond race and ethnicity and gender. It really is about excluding a large portion of the Canadian population. So, so the flip side to the exclusion is engagement. And, and Lindell, I'd like to talk to you. How do you engage youth? How do you engage groups from uh, uh, individuals from minority groups in that conversation about municipal politics? No, oh, thank you. It's really about making sure that youth understand not only what what the political what the political realm means, but making sure that their voices are heard. So for me, it's visiting schools, uh, talking to classrooms trying to get perspectives that we usually don't hear in politics. And I know Matthew Green can agree that we, we try to, to engage the folks that are, are, are most non-represented in, in the political system and just in general. Matthew, you've said that uh, publicly that you've called on everyone, quote, not to be a bystander to bigotry. What does that mean to you? Well, it means that the rise of hatred and xenophobia and racism across the country, uh, we need to, as Canadians, have a deep conversation about values in our country. We need to take a stand against this type of hatred and make sure that it doesn't take hold across uh, the Canadian population. Lindell, as, as the first person of color to sit on city council in 20 years in your city, what, how did you feel when you were first welcomed into that chamber? You know, it was, it was surreal, but at the same time, we, my, my vision is not to celebrate first anymore. Mm -hmm. I, wanna, I wanna get past that, I want us to see um, this as just something that is usual. So, you know, internally it was it was amazing and it was surreal to be in that seat. But at the same time, I don't want to allow that to take away from the the broader vision of making sure that our future councils represent our communities. All right, Lindell. So let's move past that and let's let's look to the future. What are some of the big issues and the changes that you want to see in your own community? Uh, well, that's a, that's a big one. But if I if I was to kind of think uh, to to the conversation today, you know, gentrification is something that's happening in many communities and especially in the North End of Halifax. We have a lot of new businesses and developments that are that are in the community that are not representing the historic community. So an example is trying to work with not only developers but business owners to, to make sure that they represent the community that has been there and also making sure that the people who have lived there historically feel included in whatever process or whatever business or development is in the, in the community. Matthew, what about you? What, what about in Hamilton? Well, I, I certainly the modernization of policing. We're here in Black History Month, and yet black history is not taught in our schools. We know that pre-Confederation slavery happened in Canada. We know that there's a deep, rich Canadian context to black history, and yet it's left out of education, so that's certainly an issue. And of course, the access of equal opportunities. Where do you feel, Matthew, where do you feel we are in terms of, of moving, moving the ball forward in terms of um, equality, inclusion, acceptance, bringing people together? Well, I think communities, and particularly racialized communities, want to move beyond just being tolerated. Yeah. We need to look at what equity means versus equality. So this idea that somehow we can all start with a fresh start and all have the same equal opportunities in this country is a myth. There are big barriers facing our community that need to be faced. Lindell, uh, as you sit on city council as, uh, as, as someone from a community that has previously been ignored or ostracized or, or excluded, uh, do you feel that you have to wear two hats? Do you feel that you have to wear the hat of the person representing everyone in the community, but also that very specific voice that hasn't been heard? Yeah, and, and that's, a, that's a good point. I, we try to think that we don't have to wear those two hats, but, you know, as a as a young black male in a system that, that wasn't built for us to succeed and to also be part of the, 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 old, the old realm of politics. Yeah, you have to wear two hats. Uh, most people that don't have to, to face some of the, the things that we, we face don't have to wear two hats. And that's what's difficult with this politics, but what also makes it very engaging because you're able to 
to not only be part of the community, but also be uh, able to wear the, the political hat and, and talk the language that you need to talk. And Matthew, maybe that's part of the problem in the past, that, that those who uh, have been in control of the political system should have been wearing those two hats? Well, it's not so much uh, just about the hats. It's really about taking on justice issues across the board. You know, I was certainly proud to be elected as our city's first African-Canadian uh, councillor in the entire history of our city, but that's not what I ran on. Yeah. And so we're often taking on issues of infrastructure, economy, governance and oversight, and yet we're pigeonholed as just being, you know, councillors that are taking on issues like racism. Uh, lastly, it is February. We're still in the middle of Black History Month. How important is it to you? Uh, what does it mean to you? Well, for myself personally, my people actually walked from Maryland along the footpaths of the Underground Railroad. So it's about celebrating Canada as freedom seekers, as the promised land, and recognizing where we need to go into the future. So it's not just about black history, but it's about black futures. Matthew, thank you for being here. Lindell, thank you for being here again. You know, I was just telling Matthew during the break that yours was one of the first stories that we covered here on this new show that was Your Morning uh, because we saw your election in uh, uh, out east and we thought this is the type of story that we want to tell on our show. So thanks for coming on and updating us and we look forward to uh, speaking both. with both of you again Absolutely. soon. Thank you very All much. Best. Thank you. All right, take care.